Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to yet another packed video. Vincent Mwandi here. Today we are going to talk about the Nifty 50. This is a must have lens for professional portraits and everyday use. If I would only choose one lens, I would go for the Nifty 50. Reasons to buy this tiny but great lens. I have it attached to the Nikon D850, so this is a perfect combo for me for my portraiture, wedding and portrait photography. I just love the combination that I get from this full frame body and the Nikon 50mm f1.8. It's a fast glass, so this is primarily my main go-to setup for my wedding and portrait work and I also have the 85 millimeter f1.8 by the way I have a video that I did about that particular lens and I've linked it up here you can click and watch it and find out why it's the Boca master reason number one to get this lens in 2021 better quality in low light you can get a ton of awesome photographs in low light situations and this gives you a lot of options especially when you're taking low light portraits you're going to get amazing portraits or even when you're going to get like the milky way the stars and the moon and everything that you want to capture during low light scenarios or even a silhouette portrait during sunset or sunrise so this gives you a lot of options especially in those low lit situations since it's a wide aperture lens f1.8 you get a smooth background giving you amazing bokeh bokeh however you pronounce it but you get decent bokeh from this piece of glass and it just looks amazing you get smooth bokeh when you open it wide to f1.8 or even 2.8 you get amazing background and your subject stands out from the background and you get a smooth dreamy portrait so that's amazing to have especially for wedding and portrait photographers this lens is relatively cheap at around 1800 to 200 dollars so this is amazing for the kind of quality of images you get from this particular glass and you're able to afford this lens especially when you're coming in from kit lenses I can advise you to go for this particular lens as your first option or even a 35mm f1.8 or f1.4 depending on the brand if your body has a crop factor but if you're using a full frame camera like this one D850 I would advise you to go for the 50mm f1.8 it's such an amazing piece of glass you can afford it as you build up on your collection of lenses when you take this lens off let's do that and turn it this way and press it close to the body you can turn it into a macro lens and now you can have crispy sharp close-up details of maybe a ring or bride's shoes or even a particular portrait that, that you want to take you can have crispy sharp details and it enables you to come in closer and even you can even take a photo of the eyebrows maybe of the bride after her makeup has been done so this enables you to come in so close and get amazing crispy sharp macro portraits the 1.8 aperture means this is a fast glass enabling you to freeze any moment and you're going to get crispy sharp images even at f 1.8 I recently did an in-depth video into a similar lens, the Boca Master 85mm f1.8 lens. Click the link above to find out more. The 50mm is light and compact, producing really good quality images. Also makes your camera easier to carry around. Another good feature that comes with the 50mm, it enables you to keep the subject in frame and it enables you to compose your shot however you like. 
If you're a wedding photographer like me, you can use this lens to shoot the bridal shoes, the details, the rings, and etc. This is the most versatile lens I've come across. You can use it for product photography, food photography, landscape, wedding, and portrait photography. My thoughts about this lens, it's good regardless of your skill level. Personally, I use this lens for my professional work, primarily wedding and portrait work. 